Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the engine air filter in your V6 Mercury Mariner Ford Escape or Mazda Tribute. That's what the lever looks like to get into your hood. Now, this is the V6 model and it takes uh, this specific FA1893 air filter from Ford Motorcraft. So you want to make sure that you get this exact air filter for your V6. Now the actual air filter resides in this little box here and it is held down by four clips. And I'll walk you around so you can see where all those four clips are. We've got two on this left side here. One and two. And then you have one in the front here and one on the right side here. So all you do to release these clips is just pull up on this little tab here and that's it, like super simple. All right, here's this one. And these two on the left. And now this will really pop open and you can see that is the air filter we will be replacing. So just take the cover off, put that to the side right now. And now you can see on the new one, the way this is oriented in the air box is like this. So we've got to wiggle it past this point here in order to get that old one out of the box. There you go. You just wiggle it by pulling up in this corner over here, so will wiggle it free. Here's a little old versus new comparison. It's pretty yucky. Yeah. So you toss this, and now it would be in your best interest to clean the rest of that stuff that's at the bottom of your air box, because it's only gonna get into your filter. That's impressive, that is a as a Virginia Slim in the air box. <laughs> now just be careful not to get anything in this actual inlet here. And it'll just go right to your engine. Alright, that's pretty good. We got the majority of it. And just make sure you also clean in front of here because this is literally gone right into the air box. Just clean anything that's in front there. And now we can install the new air filter. You'll want the open side on the right and the closed side on the left. And you want to get that open piece so it sits around this right there. It's just a And grab our cover, reinstall this, and put your clips back on. Make sure they're tight and everything is nice and sturdy. And that's it. You've installed a new air filter and saved a bunch of money by not going to the dealer. Good job. If I helped you out, please thumbs up this video and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.